Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Sharif Al-Gamal, and today I'm going to give you a very short video about one-way and two-way solid slabs. In one-way solid slab, uh, they deflect in one direction, as you can see here. However, for two-way solid slabs, they deflect in both directions. For one-way solid slabs, loads go to one direction only. However, for two-way solid slabs, loads go to both directions, as you can see here. In one-way solid slabs, we design for main steel reinforcement in one direction only. And in the other direction, we use minimum steel reinforcement without design. We just have to satisfy the code requirement for minimum steel reinforcement. However, for two-way slabs, you have to design for both directions, main steel in the short direction, we call it main steel one, it will be at the bottom layer. Above this layer, you will have a main steel, but we call it main steel, main steel two. All two-way slabs should be supported on four edges. However, one-way slabs could be supported on one edge or two or four edges, as we can see now. Types of one-way slabs based on the supports, it can be supported on one edge, and this will be the case of a cantilever. It is a special case of one-way slab because loads are uh, going only to one direction, direction and it is supported on one beam. However, in this case, you should be careful when you calculate for the moment because this is a special case, this is a cantilever. And if you have a cantilever under uniform load, the maximum bending moment will be a negative moment of WL square over two. Also, one-way slabs could be supported on two edges. As you can see here, it could be two beams or two walls. So in this case, it will be also classified as one-way slabs, regardless the dimensions. So even if you have this dimension is greater than the other dimension, it is still one-way slab, and the loads will go to the, the two beams or the two edges. The famous one when you have uh, a slab supported on four edges. This slab can be classified as one way or two way based on the dimensions. So it can be classified as one way if the longest span divided by the shortest span is greater than two. In these two cases, loads, if you are talking about simply supported span, so under this load here, the maximum moment will be WL square over eight. However, for a case of a cantilever, it is minus WL square over two. Now, if you have a slab supported on four edges, how to classify if this is one way or two way? This is easy. If the long span divided by the short span is greater than two, this will be classified as one way slab and the load will go in the short direction of the slab. However, if the long span divided by the short span is less than or equal to, this one will be classified as two-way slabs, and the loads will go in both directions, and we design for steer reinforcement in both directions. Thank you. This is the end of this short presentation. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this video looking forward to see you in a coming video and goodbye